So, Ramos, uh, I'm here interviewing you about your Premier League match ball that you're going to have to, uh, yeah, to go at home on your mantelpiece. So, uh, yeah, what's your thoughts on that, firstly? Yeah, it's a proud, proud moment. Obviously, uh, it's uh, something to show off what what I've achieved um, in my short time here, and obviously playing in the best league in the world uh, in my eyes is a massive achievement. And um, yeah, to do it along with like yourself and and Jack Stacey, Mark Travers last year, and these young lads who have sort of come up and and worked their way into the team. I think it was a it's a really great achievement for the club to have young British hungry lads in the in the squad pushing the older boys. And um, yeah, like I say, it was a it was a really proud day, and it's, I'm gonna sort of show it off with with so much pride. Yeah. To be uh, playing week in week out in the Premier League as a goal goalkeeper at your age is obviously a huge achievement. Being so young and well in in any world, but especially the goal goalkeeping world. Uh, yeah, what's your journey been like to get to this point? Yeah, it's been difficult. Um, yeah, there's a lot of rejection as a, a young kid. Obviously, getting released at Bolton, uh, being too small and couldn't kick. But that could possibly be the best thing which ever happened to me. Um, it sort of gave me the backbone and and sort of the the toughness to to never say die. And then, um, obviously, signing here from Sheffield United, it was a, it was it was a lonely journey uh, for the first two years. I didn't enjoy it and didn't probably f- uh, fulfil my potential. Um, but the, so two good loan periods, one with uh, Chesterfield, which we got relegated in, but one with Wimbledon, where we managed to stay up. And I can look back on that and and hold my hands up and look in the mirror and say I had a massive part to play. So. Um, I think I grew into a man and, and now I'm standing here today and um, I'm using my experiences from then to uh, take into the games for, for Bournemouth. You can see a knee kick now as well. I mean, got a boom boom on you, haven't you? But, um, yeah, you've the assist as well. <laughs> and an assist, assist to your name, yeah. So you started the season off well. Uh, what's your aims and your goals for the season uh, up until the end of the season? Yeah, similar to, to you, to be honest. I just want to sort of... I want to be... The number one for every game of the every game of the season, um, and and that's that's about it really. I'm not looking too far ahead. I want to obviously win as many games as we can and finish as high as high in the table as possible. But personal goals about international recognition or sort of player in a month recognition, I'm not really too fussed about. As long as the team are winning and I'm doing my job, um, and we can sort of stay under the radar without getting too too ahead of ourselves or too ahead of myself. Um, It'll be fitting for me just to sort of play all these games and uh, and just sort of enjoy the ride. So the fans are singing England, England's number one during games. I've heard. What's your thoughts about that? Yeah, it's always nice. I like I've had good connection with fans and um, at Wimbledon and Chesterfield and here. So um, for them to be singing it after three, four games, it was a major boost for me in confidence, and it sort of gave me another few inches in height, sort of thing, and. Uh, it was always nice hearing it, especially uh, against Jordan on the other end. But we had a good laugh after the game, and um, yeah, it's all good fun, and it's just sort of nice to get the recognition from the fans. Brilliant, thank you.